My family has been here for six generations. My ancestors came here from Ireland in 1852. They grew wheat and potatoes and they had a small cow dairy. I'm 27 right now. So when I say that I have a dairy, usually the response is, oh, really? A Stemple Creek Ranch is comprised of about a thousand acres. That's all protected in perpetuity from development through Marine Ag Land Trust. We raise grass-finished beef and lamb here on this property, and we've been doing it for over 100 years. Marine Agricultural Land Trust is the first organization in the country that was created specifically to protect family farms from subdivision and development. And there was a county plan to transform West Marin into a sprawling residential community, which would have basically eliminated forever family farming in Marin. In the last 35 years, Malt has worked with 75 families to forever protect their family farms from development. These farms produce organic milk, artisanal cheeses, grass-fed beef and lamb, fruits and vegetables, wine, eggs. For the last 150 years, ranchers here have continued to look at practices that are sustainable, both environmentally and economically. Right now, we're really working with our ranchers on something called carbon farming, which is a set of practices that removes CO2 from the atmosphere and stores it as carbon in the soil. In addition to fighting climate change and removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, when you add carbon to the soil, you're actually increasing the soil's ability to retain water and you're adding organic matter to the soil, so you're enriching the soil. So the net result of that is increases in both grass quality and quantity. We do a rotational grazing regime where we have a hundred different pastures. We rotate the cattle around and we give the grass a lot of time to rest so it develops strong roots, sequesters more carbon in the soil, hopefully more organic matter in the soil, slows the water cycle. We're also benefiting the natural environment by restoring streams and creeks and restoring our pastures to more native vegetation. We planted over a thousand trees and fenced off all our riparian zones, so it's created tons of habitat for different critters to live in harmony with us. For me, sustainability is a matter of working with the, uh, the natural processes that are occurring right here in this valley and working with them and not against them growing crops that like it here and naturally thrive in this environment instead of trying to impose crops that I think should grow here, which is usually a picking a battle with nature. So try to, we try to get along with nature. And working with the wildlife, I try to encourage natural predators to deal with gophers and mice, which can do a lot of damage in a crop field. I think the main way that I'm sustainable is just that I'm small scale. It's never been my intention to make my output demand more resources than what the ranch has, meaning water, grass. When my grandpa passed away and my dad had to pay state taxes, Malt basically saved the ranch and kept it in the family. Without them, I don't know what we would have done. I probably wouldn't be here. So we provide capital in the form of these easement payments, which these families use to kickstart their business, innovate, pay off debt, consolidate ownership, all these things. Marin Agricultural Land Trust is keeping the tradition of family farming alive and well in Marin. I'm 40 and I started ranching probably when I was about six or seven. I've always thought about the ranch. I've always dreamed about the ranch. I love the satisfaction of knowing I'm producing a great wholesome product for our local community.